Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Giga Genshin Impact baby oh my god I've been saying it's such a long time it's been literally a couple hours that we streamed yesterday <laughs> Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Genshin Impact it's ya boy grin back at it again with some event coverage uh, forgive me, I uh, did not cover the subsequent event because it was basically nothing. It was just an expedition thing uh, with a little bit of like a daily commission where you just go to the thing, click it, done, gone, all that. So yeah, it was, it was usually events require you to do, wait for it, something. <laughs> Rather than just being like, well, ugh. and it's weird because it's like, it's such a, it's so much of a better system. Like the event we just got for expeditions, it's such a better system than the expedition system. Why not just replace it? Uh, maybe not give as much primo gems or any if you don't want to, but it's sure sure shit, it's cool that I can leverage my friends list and my, my people who are in my community and vice versa uh, for, uh, for like easier clears for expeditions. Anywho. Uh, also, it incentivize actually playing for a long duration of time and getting mass a mass sum of characters so you can put more people on expeditions and also build those characters so that they would have a better percentage chance of beating it if it's scaled off level only. Um, and maybe like 5 star equality, but regardless, regardless. Event happened, didn't cover it, it was kind of a nothing event. Anyway, uh, that's typically how we go. Usually I like to cover everything. I do feel a little bad, probably should have made a quick video like, ah! This is here, ah! <laughs> but generally speaking, it's uh, it, the, the game screams at you when there's a new event, which is why I'm really hoping that this event is a little bit more. The Moonlight uh, Marie, what? Merriment. All right, <laughs> it's going on for 13 days, not too long, uh, and this is where we're finally gonna be able to get the fishing thing. Now, sure as shit, this should have been in the other one, right? <laughs> Am I taking crazy pills? I feel like if this event has nothing to do with fishing, yet we're getting a big ass salmon. I get well maybe it does maybe we're like cooking in like a big salmon for like a food dish I don't know but theoretically the fishing event was the where it was supposed to be but I digress ladies and gentlemen we're getting this brand new uh, weapon basically when you use your elemental burst uh, you, when it hits an opponent it will summon a big ass uh, tuna that will be a double hit essentially and it'll also be in an AoE area we don't know to what extent that AoE is but it's still good if you have characters that hit really really hard with their elemental burst. Uh, such as like Bido, if you have her really built up for that kind of build, then yeah, she's probably gonna be pretty good. But ladies and gentlemen, let's go to this uh, event and see if it's something to write home about. Uh, this event seems like similar to Bido's, or maybe this is not this event, but there's another event I'm thinking of. But my friends, there was an event with uh, with Bido, which I actually loved to pieces. I know a lot of people did, where like you gotta fly around, you gotta kill some things, you gotta do some quick uh, combat missions. Like every day you were having a different kind of thing. And there was a lot of things to do. There was like 60 like completions that you needed to do. Also, look at this. This is just adorable. That's why the game took a little time to load in. Uh, but yes, Leeway is in its whole weird food swing thing. So now we got a bunch of stuff. Um, now, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't really want to make a video uh, talking about the, you know, no rewards for, uh, you know, good old Genshin uh, anniversary edi edition because we made streams where I was just over it, frankly. Why don't those light up? Is it not dark enough? Is it still like the sun is just a little bit here? There we go. It's dark pitch black. Let me see. There we go. Nice glowy, glowy business. Oh, and Shang Ling's here again. And this is where I pop in. Me here in editing. Oh boy, howdy. Was I not prepared about how much this was gonna be? <laughs> this is quest on top of quest on top of quest. Um, and this certainly dwarfs the previous events, um, which maybe is how they're kind of pacing things out uh, to make the subsequent events smaller so that the big event can kind of have more time to build and breathe. Um, but regardless, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I didn't want to essentially make a video that was 40 minutes plus because going through this entire quest line was excessive. But very, very awesome and I would love to see more of this within Genshin Impact. Sure, a lot of us would. And I'll mention this later in the video, uh, but again, as much as I love the story and I love these characters, and by the way, this thing, this should have totally been what we did when Kaching's rerun banner was here. Uh, because yeah, we end up hanging out with Kaching, Hu Tao a little bit, and just a bunch of Li Wei cast of characters, all that. So it's wonderful. Um, but at the same time, I feel like, again, we just had a lot of story. We just had a lot of compelling, good story. Uh, well, arguably, some people hate it, some people love it, but I rather enjoyed it. Uh, so for me, I'm kind of caught in this weird place of, like, I think we need more gameplay now. We don't want more story, even though it's wonderful and we love these characters. It's just that we've already had a bunch of that. Um, so as much as I'm very happy with the event thus far, I am also a little, like... 
okay, well hopefully the next event or whatever will be less story driven and more gameplay heavy uh, with things to do, reasons to do them, all of those things. Um, but the event itself is very, very lovely. And frankly, I wish Leeway would just stay this way because it looks wonderful and more aesthetic than it previously did. Uh, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, essentially, big, big love to the event. Uh, basically, the beginning part is a massive quest where you're unravel unraveling this thing about the Stove King, introducing Ganyu. Any Leeway character basically gets their moment to shine, even uh, Baizu and Chi-Chi and all these things, uh, which is lovely. But the problem is, is that it's a rather long uh, kind of hangout with our, our boys and girls. So, uh, I basically am just going to edit all my stupid nonsense quippy lines <laughs> and reactions to each character uh, and then we're gonna just hard cut back to me when we're talking about the other aspect of the event which is to say uh, I don't know actually so we, 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 may, we may not do that because <laughs> I have no idea what that is uh, it's a long event it's like th two or three hours uh, just for the beginning ish part anyways ladies and gentlemen my crazy ass take it away all that Shangling is adorable, especially now how, how optimal she is in Genshin with like the artifact sets, the weapons and shit. Whew. So it's good to have her back and ha have more like, I wish there's a hangout for her eventually, I hope, you know. There's that lewd woman. <laughs> That's a really weird, like, perfect angle. Anyways, creepy. L uh, Paimon has taste? Hey, if you got a problem with Paimon's taste, just spit it out. Spit it out. Just Shang Ling can be a bit of a handful, so please look out for her while you're out and about. Come on, Dad. Why would you say that? That's so because cute. Because I know you all too well, my dear. That's why. Honestly, like, out, out of all, like, this, like, the main character versus side character kind of business, she fits the, the thing. She's got a weird companion thing. <laughs> it flies around like a pet thing. Um, but it happens to maybe be a, a living being or a weird, like, fucking stuffed animal. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, this is awesome! So we actually get to interact with everybody. Nice! Hu Tao! So. What, what, what? My ears are burning. Did somebody say my name? Weird. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> my ears are burning. <laughs> Jesus, what is that? Uh, quite uh, an odd duck, this one. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's Paimon and the Traveler. Oh, and Xiong Ling, too. Uh, Hu Tao, it always feels like it's a very, like, the way you speak seems like it is just wrought with effort. <laughs> and, oof. Meaning, you're here for some other reason, right? How might I be of assistance? Mm. Uh, well, Hu Tao, I wanted to ask you, what kind of food do you like? What food I like? Come on, even the chirpiest birds clock out for the night, right? I'm no different. Ladies and gentlemen, I just got to this video is probably going to get ahead of but out of all the other videos I made. <laughs> um so in in any in a lot of videos that you are going to see, it's me referring to gone you this, maybe Thomas that, gone you that, maybe Thomas this. Um it is all went to shit. <laughs> <laughs> Simply put, it is all went to shit. We'll talk about it when the banner of 2.2 comes out. If the rumors are to be believed, it is blasphemy, madness, and sadness. Okay? So, I just want to let you know, if you're in the same boat, if I fucked you up because I was like, gone you this, and you were like, I'm going to start like getting materials for gone you, I'm right there with you, buddy. I had a shit sandwich this week. Not great. Anyways, just so I'll let you know, big yikes. Big disgusting. Gah. Anyways. And also, there might be a reason why they're showing Hu Tao now. Anyways, it's okay. Hu Tao, just keeping uh, it simple. Boom. Bye. Right. There's no need to overcomplicate it. What the fuck is that thing? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I... Creepy ass. Like, looks like Ted. <laughs> Fucking weird. Anyways. I see, I see. Launching a new dish? Well, let me say right off the bat, nothing weird. Okay. Some poached fish, a side of shrimp dumplings. That is all you need. Hmm. Mmm, poached fish and shrimp dumplings. That's a bit ordinary, isn't uh. it? Add a side of shrimp dumplings, and there's your static component. Got it? Dynamic? Mmm. Oh, I can do dynamic. Mushroom slime stew it. Mm. No, 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 not that kind of dynamic. <laughs> A dish is more than substance, it's a mood. Shrimp dumplings are more subdued, clear and smooth with a pure and subtle fragrance. I call that static. Combining dynamic and static is how you create a perfectly balanced meal. A union between opposite but complementary features coexisting in perfect harmony. I've checked out. <sighs> when it comes to telling tales, the storytellers have got nothing on Hu Tao. Hmm? Sounds suspiciously like a compliment to me. 
I'll take it. Adele feels like more more than any other character, like she is a person completely out of the out of the thing. You know, like out of the world space, out of the out of out of tune, all that stuff. Not tune, how do I put it? Like she just feels like a not weird, but like as if she's like got a sense for like this is a video game you know what i mean like a deadpool like fucking i know what this shit is kind of sense <laughs> you know and it's it's really sub subliminal also the way she speaks seems like absolute like effort weirdness excess but also like a wildly unique and charming you know what i mean i just think of like contrasting hu tao's personality and i haven't done her story quest yet i want to like if you contrast her with other characters like jung lee who's supposed to be a fucking divine god uh, same thing with Venti. They they don't they don't see. Maybe that's the point. Is that the gods are more human than you think, and, and maybe some humans are more godlike than you would imagine. You know. Anyways, Chichi and uh, Baizu. Okay? Bet Chichi likes cold things. Why? <laughs> Most astutely self-corrected. <sighs> Coconut milk. Coconut yeah, it is. Milk. Nice and cold. Where you at? Huh? Well, <laughs> ah. I look how Gobo just like. Oh, how you flatter me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a more of a quest than what we got combined, <laughs> okay, in the last event. This is more of an event than the last event, just with this, the story. Although I do hope dearly that we get more than just story events, you know what I mean? hope we get gameplay events, not just story on story, which I'm assuming this one will also be. So maybe that was their plan of like doing a tiny little event that was kind of minuscule to only give a bit, much, much bigger event. Um, but golly, this looks huge. Um, well, it's, it's, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's fine. <laughs> I just, again, to me, I'm like, if this took a long time to make, why wouldn't I would have? I just selfishly, my desire would be for, uh, you know, not that, <laughs> and instead putting all this effort into gameplay. But just could be me. Good. Here. And they really brought all the voice actors out here for, for this. This is awesome. Huh? Everyone's gathered here together. Even when it means giving our poor mutual friend here the cold shoulder. Ugh, uh, is this a bad time? <laughs> uh. By no means. You wish to know about the stone, I presume. Oh? Hopefully not because there's been some sort of cataclysmic event. Why are you so bored? No, <laughs> Jeez. No, nothing like that. Okay, awesome, guy. This, fucking Shangling is stacking the deck. She's like, hey, can I get my traveler friend here to introduce me to all of the most important people ever <laughs> in this whole city? Who's like the cream of the crop, the medical guy. He's going to network. He's going to communicate and be like, yeah, she's making a health conscious food source thing. And now we got the fucking kingpin. And also the, the more, like when people die, they're going to go talk to Hu Tao. Like, I'm excited to try this dish. <laughs> it's just like fucking expert marketing from our girl Shangling. Ladies and gentlemen, I may have to leave you. Um, I am starving. I uh, start. I didn't think this was going to be this. I thought maybe we'd get this maybe the middle way point, but not at the very beginning. Uh, golly, there's a good bit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I haven't eaten anything right now, and it's 2 p.m. I haven't eaten anything, so I'm going to I need to eat lunch before I work out in a couple hours. So I'm not going to puke up my food. Uh, so we'll do this last bit, and we'll get after it after. I might include, like, a gameplay thing, a voiceover of us, sh like, talking about the next part of the mission, which is cool. I'll just get this out in a timely manner. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Hey, by a woman was good. Those that they have no room for at home. In fact, their youngest comes over this way to read sometimes. That 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 person sounds like a very bad, like a very mid, like tw woman in her twenties, <laughs> sounding thirty or, or eighty six something. Are we gonna create like our own little posse? Cause golly, <laughs> that's wild. <laughs> Shit, I did not expect them to like this to be like this whole like Avengers Assemble kind of situation, which very much feels that way. Also, this is literally where Sh Xing Chou lives. He just hangs out here. I don't know. Xing Chou is fighting Help! people, some shit. Ah, I'm being robbed. We got it. it came Some, from of Come on. Some of this. Some of this. Kaching's like, I'll kill all of you. <laughs> Everyone you've ever met. <laughs> what? <laughs> Jesus, Kaching. Oh, shit. Hello, one and all. I've never met you before. <laughs> I must say, <laughs> I've never had the pleasure. Awesome. Okay, so I didn't know, <laughs> I didn't know that was Chun Yung's story. Okay. Interesting. I never heard that after this, all this time. But Chun Yung, apparently, um, was an, is an exorcist that was born with the power to repel demons as Peter Yang's spirit something uh, and this troubles him greatly because he'd never what kind of exorcist never seen a demon before but it's because his j innate whatever curse or something he just propels demons anyway so hey guys, that's hilarious what are you doing here? <laughs> if it pleases my lady i shall lead the way shung i will take care of things here 
You're free to go about your own business. So you're not cool enough to hang out with those. <laughs> go. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? What do you think? Do you think they'll show Shang Ling? <laughs> or do you think they'll still keep her in the closet? Like the bastardized child <laughs> that people see her as? <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. But, ladies and gentlemen, what I do know is I am done for right now. Uh, yeah, it's a hot, a lot, good bit. It's like a story, story quest. Like this, yeah, it's crazy that they always like do this and then they throw them away. <laughs> you know, like there's a whole animated, you're gonna meet these cool characters. This is going away in 13 days, <laughs> okay? <laughs> feels bad. <laughs> it feels bad, man, for sure. But um, yeah, I uh, know. I, again, I'll uh, I'll I'll see what I do with this in the, in post. I might attack on the. I may just like make this super cut down and give you guys like a little bit of taste of everyone's kind of like cute personalities and whatnot, and then hard cut to us actually doing the event like thing, uh, which I would assume is like jumping around and doing all of these weird things with Kaching and Shangling, of course. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, I'm off to go eat. Uh, th thus far, it's this event. Well, again, we haven't seen the event gameplay thing, but thus far, this event has just been a seemingly pretty big story where it introduces side characters, which I think is the only thing, the only thing that people actually really want. Uh, it's just a shame that they go away eventually, so people who aren't here in the hot button moment, present moment, they're gonna miss. Hi ladies and gentlemen, me here in post and or in editing uh, really quickly just because the video is already pretty long I'm um, the actual meat and potatoes of the event outside of interacting with all of the fantastic side characters of course within leeway um, Basically, I'm this, this event because I just played essentially the the other half of it uh, And it's fantastic again. You can bang out almost all of it within like 15 minutes, but <laughs> There's still more to come unlocked. So if you save it for like the last minute, you'll be able to play for a couple hours which is fun but essentially, ladies and gentlemen, what the event kind of seems like, it looks like, is one, one of the events has you working for Cloud Retainer, essentially, uh, doing this different kind of minigame where it has you cooking things to perfection. Uh, so it's like the classic cooking minigame, except between just one, um, cooking pot it's three uh, and you're kind of juggling this flame around them it's pretty relatively easy and can also be I think circumnavigated by having certain characters unlocked uh, fire and water can help heat and cool uh, the pots to their ideal liking uh, and yeah and then the other one which is also pretty cool um, is essentially you're gonna it's just like a run around and kill things event so you're running around flying around this one is by far my favorite and I could probably do for hours on end without any real peep because <laughs> uh, it's very fun just running around blitzkrieging things absolutely fantastic um, and then there was one that I feel like I'm not so sure about um, but it seems like there's random chests scattered throughout the entire T of leeway which is one of the biggest maps in Genshin uh, and that's pretty rough and unlocking all of them will give you various rewards as well as help you complete uh, this part of the events quest line or sorry checklist uh, which I think I would be more worried about if I didn't have faith in the uh, Genshin map which is typically updated within like three or four days of something be something being introduced uh, so more or less we probably should be able to find all of those unless they are random which I do wouldn't think they would be so anything with that I think just give it a couple days the Genshin community will have it all mapped out or each one of these chests are you can just bang them out one night and call that good uh, but as of all the events that I played Matt again uh, this is like it's pretty substantial it always makes me feel like again is this what their new model is? It's about like trying to hedge their bets on one bigger event, but pr prior to that event, it's going to be kind of a crappier, non-existent kind of event because this one seems pretty, pretty hefty. Uh, like reading a long quest, uh, we're also getting like a bunch of side things, and it's only lasting like 14 days, which feels like nothing. Um, uh, honestly, I kind of wish this event would have lasted a little bit longer, and they would have just again buffed up some of the activities, like. The thing I just did, which is where I was just bouncing around, probably the main game plan loop I'm showing you guys, uh, but it's me just bouncing around with Ball and my team, and we're just blitzkrieging things, and it feels awesome, feels fun. Uh, you're able to collect the drop rates of the hilly trills and all that stuff, so it makes it feel like you're actually doing something and you're getting something out of it, uh, as well as it feels good, because every single time you crack open one of these seals, you're getting a, a vast variety of either fruit, primo gems, or whatever, and it'd be cool to see if you could do this like 20 times a week. Uh, just to have something else to do within Genshin as an in-game activity, but my brain's kind of stuck in that place at this point. But ladies and gentlemen, needless to say, this event is fantastic. I cannot wait to do it uh, on stream and hang out with you guys as well, because that's typically where these events kind of shine, so we can shoot the shit and just kind of fly around and do the things. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys do enjoy the rest of your day. I'm off to go exercise, eat, and finish my day off. I just made some videos for you guys. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> hopefully it'll get to you in a timely manner. Thank you so much for your time, my friends, and goodbye.